Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. We just unlocked Tana, the new playable Bandicoot-like character. And her timeline levels will be available in later parts. In this episode, we are, are taking on a boss level, the Jetboard Jetty. Pass Cloud, that is a pit. Damn it, Pass Cloud! <laughs> It, it looked like a rope ladder, for goodness sake. When How was has I supposed Crash ever been able to climb rope ladders? That the rope ladder suggested that there may have been something down there. All they have to do is put a steel up arrow bounce box, and boom, we would have been able to make it back on the platform. These are the things that, that learned Crash Bandicoot players have come to expect. Especially... The unexpected. <laughs> no, using okay. our new Marsupis Erectus skin, we are a bit out of place in this pirate themed level. Uh, evil projectile swords following sharks. Okay, now, wait for the interval. Uh, are those swords actually, or are those, or are those fish bones? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's it's a it's a it's a danger. It's a yeah, hazard it's rather. Yeah, it's a range projectile. But you know, th I want to know for thematic purposes. Probably, you know, now that you mention it, it probably is a fish bone because I noticed that every time he's done throwing a fish, he eats a fish. So after he eats the fish, he probably takes the bone back out of his mouth and throws it at you. That's good use of assets. Really, you're doing the checkpoint uh, uh, before the boxes. <laughs> you you generally want to do that so that you can collect right. Wumpa fruit in the event that you die. No, and we especially got a because amount. we have the return of the waterboard. This looks to be very precise at the moment, and and still uncomfortably floaty. I mean, to be honest, they probably took that directly from the Insane Trilogy. Damn it! Well, yeah, you fell into a bottomless pit at the very start of the level! It's alright. We come. I mean, off-screen, I come back to get that, because the game lets you know where those flashback tapes are hidden. There's not a flashback tape hidden in every single level, but the ones that do have flashback tapes will be indicated with an icon on the dimensional map. And it's every main level, right? Not necessarily. You see, I know the more that the bosses you... don't have them, but <laughs> what I was relatively certain that the, all the main levels had them. Yeah. Oh, one, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, 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 seven, seven eight, eight, nine. Eight, nine. <laughs> Which gives us our first Wampa Gem? Yep. Yay. Wampa Gems are cool. They are. And now let us hit the checkpoint box. Awesome. Here's a checkpoint you may become un uncomfortably familiar with. The trope uh, with this, this so gauntlet. Bad so far, I know we have to use the boats later, but now how about right now? Okay, now if you miss, oh, oh, is there is there there's something up there? Up there, but I don't think that there's any. Uh, I don't think that there's a box. Mother flippers. Oh, oh dear. Oh, too much bouncing. Too much bouncing. Got to keep up with the platform. All right, wait for the next down, one. Good okay, down, good very down. good. No. Wait, d time it a little better. Okay, go. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Slide. Oh, no. Slide. Yeah. Uh, okay. Very nice. Very nice. You've made it this far. So you had an easy time on that checkpoint, eh? Let's see you survive this time. Yes, Dr. Brio. No, 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 that was, that was engine. That's Salazar. <laughs> Yo, you're right, it is a fishbone. It's a jagged fishbone. Alright, we already squandered our Aku Aku masks, because it didn't save us that time. Let's try that again. Jump and... Spin! Jump over, spin! Jump over, spin! So what I found very comfortable Slide. with the with the rhythm that uh, there we go. with the rhythm that I've gotten into with these Crash Bandicoot four levels is I'll die on a level nine times, but I'll get ten lives in the process. 
So it's only on the later, more difficult levels that my tendency to rack up deaths relatively early on starts to catch up to me. And you found the hidden gem, haha. <laughs> Yep, and a hidden gem got is a gem that you do not have to right. retrieve a second time, uh, which is uh, all really gems nice. That use, uh, all gems that you retreat that you get are uh, are auto sa are auto saved to your profile. It's very thank nice. God, but you do have to finish the level in order to save the gem. Yeah, you can't ju you can't just quit the level. That was a Crash Bandicoot thing for the longest time. Well, I say the longest time. It's actually, Crash Bandicoot 2 was really the game. But because in Crash Bandicoot 1, in PS1 era anyway, you don't collect... You never collect gems inside the level. They're always awarded at the end of the level. Oh, oh, oh. Watch out for the Whirlpool. And They're just forward. as tricksy as ever. For hey, you we have this dog. great gem. We could do this... Oh, uh, we could do this gem platform. Yeah, we can. All right. Now, you may be thinking, oh, shit, Cloud, you made a serious mistake by hitting that checkpoint box because if you complete this whole route and then you die, then you have to do this route over again. <laughs> Not necessarily. In Crash Bandicoot 4, as long as you complete the gem pathway, and, it's in, and in this level, it sends you basically on the other side of the same platform where you started, it will save your progress as though you had gotten a checkpoint afterwards. Which is very nice of them. Yes, for, for very Stand, forgiving. Uh, uh, cloud, standing still spin. Mm. This time I'll have myself a real good time. I'm gonna jump high, high and through the anchors. Fire away with your... Those cannonballs are way bigger than the cannons from which they're ejected from. Ah, uh, that's fine. Goddamn cartoon language. Logic. Logic. Thank you. All right. Well, that was a relatively easy gem platform for what is arguably one of the easiest color gems to get in the whole game. Right. Okay. And so moving forward. Oh, you're not going to check the score screen to see how many boxes we have of the 196 we need. It's it's all right. The game will tell me at the end of the level how many boxes I had and and how close I got to actually meeting the threshold. Okay, that's why I had my oh shit moments. Like, oh but wait, the platform's over here. Yeah, the platform. Uh, and it's not going to take. Is Yay! Still Thank God for that. Because I'm sure a lot of people probably died <laughs> like I did as soon as they finished the pathway. Well, not the same way that you did, but yeah. This is a rather treacherous and diabolical little route we found ourselves on. The pelicans with their furry eyebrows are looking off with disinterest Those into the distance. Those are two cans. Very clearly two cans. It's a parrot. I mean, it's a, it, sh it should be a parrot. I mean, it's, it's a fucking par it parrot. It should be a parrot, but it's very... It should be a parrot, but it's very clearly a toucan. R R make him walk the plank! What'd the bird say? <laughs> It said Cloud is not as skilled at platforming as he believes he is. Goddamn smart-ass aviation. Your ornithological antics shan't slow me down. Watch out for Mr. Fishbone. That is probably the enemy name for him, too, Mr. Fishbone. Mr. <laughs> the, um... Right, right, Mister, because I because that that is a pirate theme is to is to use Mister. Yes, honorifics are very important in pirate society. He claimed. Yes. Okay, and I get the TNT box. Good. You, by the way, you you can dematerialize the TNT box because then it will make a dematerialized explosion when the timer runs out, and it will still count as a box. Three, four, five. Doing the crash three, get two Wumpa Fruit every time you land on one of those uh, multi Wumpa Fruit boxes. Okay, now run. We're getting a little better at this at this mid-air rematerialization. Oh boy. Oh god. <laughs> you bastards. It's okay. Aku Aku forgives us. Okay, get the checkpoint box first, and then get the steel crates. Very good. Make every wump of fruit count. All two of them. Mm. Ah. 
So why are these ships fighting each other? Well, because they're pirates. They're always trying to get each other's booty. Or jet boards. Okay, mm, boy. All three Wonka jets. Yay! Yay. Wooly bully. Wooly bully. Wooly bully. Okay, and boost! Yay. Oh, it's time for the old three in a row. Maybe one of those, one of these idiots will take out one of the mines. Oh boy. Oh, oh geez. Oh, this is Go. getting tight. Oh, my pants. I mean, my one cloth. Oh, geez. <laughs> Good job, Pass Cloud. Thank you. Ah. Did it make you, it make you poop yourself? Have to do, oh, holy shit. Is, did we get it? I think we got it. Or did we? Well, first we have to go through the one and only mini boss in the entire game. No, Louise the Kraken. Oh, he, she's ready to slap. Hmm. What's the point of these sword dancing mice? Well, they are, you are supposed to guide them into the uh, tentacles. Yes. Right, because Crash has never been able to attack enemies while he's riding the jet board. He's only been able to evade damage. Oh, crap. All right, let's try that one more time. Get your Wumpa Fruit. And give it another shot. Now, can you can you jump over the uh, uh, the jet board for this? Um, That is a good question. Does the game put up an invisible wall? either behind or in front of the jet board to stop you from jumping over it to your death. I mean, a serious player would just jump onto the jet board. I mean, hell, I walk myself off a platform enough times to know that, yes, the game will punish you for making stupid mistakes. <laughs> Alright, Luis is half dead. Oh yeah, mini, with an emphasis on mini boss, mini health bar, miniature amount of time spent actually fighting the boss, if you can call this a fight. It's, it's more like fight. just it's more like just survive and get these idiots to attack each other. Yeah. Okay, here it comes. Final hit. Nope. nope. Oh, oh boy. And Nope. Oh, they are they are a swinging and a dangin'. Okay. There, got the it. Sluice gate opens up. Louise is down. Wait for her to go away. And it looks like we actually got the box gem cuz all we had to do cuz all we had to do was just get the green gem platform. The silence protagonist. Oh yeah, protagonist. I wonder if that's a reference to the classical definition of protagonist, not the erroneous modern day one. Mm. Uh, yes, Crash. So we want that, to go uh, forward. Uh, yeah, we have successfully gotten a Kano. Yay! Ah, it's all right. You got plenty of lives. All right, two masks down, two to go. Feeling a little less panicked. I, I was at a ten before. Now I'm at a solid, let's say, nine point seven eight. Eight eight eight. Oh yeah, these bandicoots are here to help. Yep, yep. Bandicoot. Bandicoot. Short Never heard of a bandicoot before. Sounds like so we have successfully trickery. unlocked the next world, and I think the next world is the Mardi Gras uh, levels, right? No, uh, it's no, the no. We're in levels. Japan. Damn it! Yep. I was Just hoping we like get in... the Mardi Gras levels next, but nope. Crash Three also introduced World Three as Orient themed. Let's try on a new skin and. Give it a spin. In the next part, we're going to be learning even more controls with Akano, the second of the Quantum Masks. Which is an expansion to one of our older superpowers. Be safe, everybody. Give it a spin. Give it a spin.